Hey there, awesome physics students. Let's talk about an, an example Newton's third law situation that hopefully can resolve some of the uncomfortable feelings and non-intuitiveness of Newton's third law and how it interacts with the second law. So the question we're going to talk about here is how you jump. So we have some intuition about how you jump, right? You just jump. Uh, we don't think about the, the physics that are happening there. So let me just draw the ground and here's you standing on the ground. And let me give you some actual arms. And what's happening there, if we draw the forces acting on you, there's the normal force acting on you up. That's because you're touching the ground. And that's perpendicular to the ground. And then there's going to be the gravitational force down on you from the attraction of your mass to the Earth. If we're going to jump, we need to have your acceleration point up. So that means that the net force must also point up. And note that I never draw the acceleration or the net force on the free body diagram. Okay, so how are we going to get, right now these two forces look like they're the same magnitude. How are we going to get them to be different? And also, how does this connect with the third law? So let's think about the third law partner forces to these two forces. In this case, the two objects are you and the Earth. So let's draw the Earth. Here's the Earth. And here's you there, and you have a normal force because you're touching the Earth. That's because the Earth it causes that. Newton's third law then says that you cause a normal force back on the Earth equal in magnitude, opposite in direction. Okay. Again, these are forces on two different objects. They're the same kind of force, both the normal force. The action-reaction partner force to the gravitational force acting on you, that's because... Uh, you know, that gravity is the force that of the attraction of your mass to the Earth's mass. That means that if, that means that you're putting a force on the Earth, attracting the Earth, because of gravity. Again, t forces on two different objects, and they are the same magnitude, opposite direction, and they are the same kind of force. So they're both the gravitational force in this case. So these two are third law partner forces. And these two are third law partner forces. That means that they will always be equal and opposite, and you can never make them be different than each other, ever. So then how do we jump? Well, we need a net force up. That means we need our normal force to be bigger than our gravitational force. But that normal force is exerted by the Earth. So how do you convince the Earth to give you more, to put more force on you? Well, you just make the force that you put on the Earth bigger. That means you push down on the Earth hard, and the Earth pushes up on you hard, with the same hardness that you push on the Earth. And so that gives you a net force that's up and gives you an acceleration that is up. Now, part of this seems to violate your intuition, right? If the forces are the same on both, why don't we see the Earth go in the other direction? Well, don't forget to uh, that the cause, don't confuse the cause with the effect. So with our situation, we have a fairly small mass, right? Uh, our mass is about 10 to the 2 kilograms, about 100 kilograms, whereas the mass of the Earth is about 10 to the 24 kilograms, right? Mass of the Earth is uh, 10,000 million, million, million times bigger than your mass. So your mass is relatively small. You're going to have a big effect, a big acceleration. The mass of the Earth is, of course, gigantic. And so the acceleration there is going to be basically, well, it's going to be a 10,000 million, million, million times smaller than your acceleration. It's going to be imperceptible. You are not going to notice it. Okay, and it's because of this giant, pro the property of inertia, the the Earth has so much more inertia than you. All right. So hopefully this uh, connects nicely with the third law, and the uh, um, you know remember don't confuse the cause with the effect. One more quick uh, thing I want to talk about here is how you walk. Um, keep in mind what you do there is that when you're walking, uh, you uh, what you do is you. How do you convince, let's say you want to walk this way. How do you convince yourself to get a force that way? You can't put a force on yourself. You need an external agent to do that. What you do is you push on the ground and you put a ground force uh, that due to friction 
that way on the ground. Well, how does that force cause you to walk? Well, in reaction to that, the ground puts a force on you that's equal and opposite, and of course, it also must be due to friction. The harder you push with friction this way on the ground, the harder the ground pushes back on you and causes you to accelerate. For example, if you want to be a sprinter, all right? Of course, you don't see the Earth accelerate for the same reasons we just talked about here. You can have a very large acceleration, though, depending on how big of a force you put on the Earth.